See, there haven't been any practice session on the match venue, so you haven't uh, seen the wicket yet. Do you think that will be an issue to uh, select the best possible eleven for the match? No, I don't think so. Again, I think we are uh, very clear as to our game style, what we want to play. And the conditions don't... We know, we I played in Sharjah so many times, we know what to expect. Uh, it's good that we didn't practice there. Practice facilities are not great in Sharjah. We've had very good facilities here, so we're happy with what we've got. Shri, sir, you have been a journeyman kind of thing. You have worked with different teams, different international teams. How do you... How long does it take you to get acclimatized? Because Bangladesh, if you know, they are very passionate about their cricket and everything. And they want instant results as well. So, as a technical director, how do you look, uh, look into it? I know the Bangladesh passion is really something unbelievable. So when I even landed in Dhaka, the sort of uh, the welcome I got, the expectations that people have, I think is phenomenal. And that's what makes the country tick. Literally, they live and breathe cricket very similar to what we have in India. So I think I'm pretty used to that in that respect. But I mean, I'm, take the results out of the equation. We just want to prepare as the best as possible, be very clear with our communication to the players, what is what are expected of each and everyone. I think captain's been fantastic. Uh, Shakib's been very good in you know, laying down his expectations as well. He's, he's very modern in the way he thinks about the T20 game, which I think is exceptional for Bangladesh. And having uh, all of us on the same page is a great start. See, uh, you know, Roshid Khan has always been a an expector. So, in the first match, we saw that Rashid Khan uh, not, not that much contributed in the first match, but still Afghanistan on the match in the big margin. So, you expect from the Bangladesh side that uh, better performance in the combined performance from the every unit? I think uh, Afghanistan is a very dangerous team. They don't only depend on Rashid Khan. So, Rashid Khan, we all know, is a world famous performer. He's one of the best T20 bowlers in the world. There's no denying that. But I think. When we prepare, we prepare for Afghanistan as a team, not as Rashid Khan or Mohammad Nabi or Fazal Akfarouk. It does not matter, but I think we are prepared for Afghanistan, the team. Can I ask in Hindi? Yes, okay. 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 uh, from India. एक सवाल ये था कि जब T20 cricket की बात करते हैं और अगर आपने कल का match देखा होगा पाकिस्तान और इंडिया था, someone like Hardik Pandya, जो as a batter भी team में खेल सकते हैं, as a bowler भी alone. उसके जैसा ऑलराउंडर होने से किस तरह का टीम को क्या आपको लगता है एक एक्स्ट्रा एडवांटेज है स्पेशली इन दिस फॉर्मेट जो कल आपने मैच में देखा हो डेफिनेटली ऑलराउंडर का मकसद तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है टी क्रिकेट में अगर कोई चार ओवर डाल सकता है और पांच नंबर छह नंबर पे बैटिंग कर सकता है और छकड़ी मार सकता है तो इनवैल्यूबल बहुत सारे हार्दिक पांड्या बेन स्टॉक्स तो बहुत कम आते हैं तो जिस टीम के पास वो जैसा प्लेयर है उनको डेफिनेटली वो बैलेंस डिफ्रिल्ट आप कभी भी एक्स्ट्रा बैट्समैन खेल सकते हो कभी भी एक्स्ट्रा बॉलर खेल सकते हो किसी में मैंने किसी पढ़ा कि इंडिया के पास बारह लोग हैं अगर हार्दिक पांड्या जैसे ऑलराउंडर बनता है तो हमारे पास भी शकीब है जो वो बैलेंस लैंड करता है चार ओवर डालता है टॉप ऑर्डर में बैटिंग करता है तो डेफिनेटली हर एक टीम का एडवांटेज है उसका पोटेंशियल में तो किसी के पास डाउट नहीं था वो कितना बॉलिंग फिट रहता है वो उसके ऊपर था और अभी उसने दिखा रहा है कि आईपीएल में और इधर चार ओवर डाल सकता है वो धीरे धीरे अच्छा वर्कलोड बिल्ड किया है और जब वो चार ओवर डाल सकता है तो उसका बैटिंग तो हमेशा अच्छा और क्या अच्छा किया उसने आई में चार नंबर बैटिंग किया उसके बाद टाइम स्पेंड करने का मौका मिला विकेट में कभी आप छः नंबर पर बैटिंग करते तो आपको ज़्यादा बॉल्स नहीं मिलते खेलने को और उसने अच्छा काम ये किया कि उसने चार नंबर पे बैटिंग किया उसके पास टाइम मिला अब इन स्टडी सॉरी विकेट में स्पेंड करने के लिए और उसका फॉर्म उधर से बिल्ड हुआ और उस जब वो कॉन्फिडेंट रहते हैं अपने स्किल में और फिट है तो बहुत कम क्रिकेटर होते हैं उनके जैसे हेलो श्री कनी मोहम्मद नाइम शेख वॉज रिकॉल्ड बैक इन टू द साइड एज एन ओपनर द लास्ट टाइम ही प्ले ही वॉज एक्चुअली ड्रॉप बिकॉज ऑफ स्लोअर स्ट्राइक रेट एंड पुअर फॉर्म बट कमिंग बैक इन टू द साइड वॉट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशन रिगार्डिंग हाउ ही कैन प्ले हिज रोल वॉट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशन नाइम शेख इज अ वेरी नेचुरल स्ट्राइकर ऑफ द बॉल एंड आई थिंक द कम्युनिकेशन इज इन वेरी क्लियर टू हिम एस टू वॉट वी शुड एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम हिम 
and uh, he, I mean I'm sure he's going to go out there and play his natural game, which is to see the ball, hit the ball. And we're not worried about too much of numbers or anything. We just want to play the situation, play the assess the conditions as quickly as possible, communicate with the partner, and do his role. Uh, Sri, hard hitting capacity for the batsman in T20 is very important. We all know that. Uh, you are watching the practice sessions of Bangladesh team, and what do you think about that capacity of Tiger batsman, Bangladeshi batsman? I think it's definitely there. I, we've got to be able to give them the freedom to go out there and play. And that's something we've spoken about. Uh, I mean, Ability-wise, there is no doubt that Bangladesh is, or has the ability to do it. But it's about going there and, you know, getting the confidence to keep expressing themselves and keep doing the job. Uh, Sri, sir, uh, just wanted to know that uh, is the world is moving towards specific support staff or like the specific uh, coaching person in specific format like you are involved with Bangladesh in specific format. In England, uh, Brendan McCallum is their only test match. Is the world, world is moving forward like that? I mean, I have uh, worked with Australia for a bit and I've been doing a bit of IPL. Uh, 365 days coaching is very difficult. So, I don't know how, where the world is going or... It, it, I think it takes a lot of coordination to get different, different coaches together for different formats. But one thing I'm very sure, it's very hard to do all formats 365 days. That is for sure. Franchise cricket and uh, international cricket, it, just like the players have to find the right balance, I think the coaches also have to find the right balance. Hundred percent. I mean, hats off to him. He, I mean, even more difficult for players like him who have been on the road for. He's been such a successful player, and he's been uh, dealing with the pressure and the expectations for such a long time in his life uh, as a player, and come back and to be able to do it as a coach. I'm sure he's finding it hard. So, um, just you already touched on the Sarja condition and the knowledge he got there. Just can you give us any indication or any hint what sort of combination Bangladesh will go on? Is it going to be two spin, two pacers or three spinners? No, I don't want to give anything away. We'll wait till tomorrow. <laughs> My players know it. Definitely. Just can you give us any, uh, an update on Mustafa? He hasn't got a very good record in away from home in terms of uh, really recent recent past. I think we'll see him bowling in the nets. The way he's swinging the new ball back into the right hander. I think he's very dangerous. Once he starts to get the new ball swinging into the right-hander, he's at his best, and we believe he's at his best. Last two questions. Okay. Uh, we have a three senior players, Saki, Mushtik, and Riyad. You say Saki is the But Mushtik and Riyad has the practice session. Uh, uh, they are capable to uh, good shot or uh, team uh, uh, winner. Win. Okay. Sorry? They, they can be winner of Bangladesh team for partners. I think Jum again their work ethic has been something very good and I mentioned that to them as well. The way they've they've set an example, even they're there on optional trading sessions, they're really keen to contribute. And all we ask of them is work hard and do their role. And once they do it, I think they are good enough players to succeed. Last year we saw that uh, Sakib have made some changes in his bowling action, uh, going uh, the bowling mark so fast, delivering the ball so fast. Uh, uh, why he has done it? I mean, he's a very intelligent cricketer. And today, if you've got to keep pace with the international game and the franchise cricket, you constantly have to update and upskill your game. And that's where I think people like Shakib are very good uh, because they've been consistent performers over long periods of time. And the only secret to that is they've always constantly been involved, evolving their game and being able to improve and outwit the batsman or the bowler. I mean, if he, he's done that, credit to him. And that's why he's such a good player. Yeah. Uh, you uh, again and again mentioned about the Shakib and the amazing all like Hardik Pandya, you just compared with them. What was the difference between Shakib and other players in Bangladesh team? Mm -hmm. What was the difference? What you have ever seen? I think one main difference between Shakib and everyone else is the amount of exposure. I mean, the different leagues that he has played in, uh, 
the different conditions. I mean, if you, he's someone who's played the IPL for so many years, he's played the CPL, he's played all over the world. I think that's one major difference with the exposure to the outside world. And that's what makes uh, Shakib the difference between him and the others. And that's something we have to focus on, give as much exposure to the local Bangladesh players so that they learn quicker.